Hi Capricorn and welcome to your tarot video scope for February 2016 by Alma. You may reach me at almalightworker.com if you do need to schedule a private reading with me to open your Akashic uh, records, um, a psychic tarot reading, face reading, birthday readings. If you do need an energy clearing, uh, a Reiki he uh, healing or a toner and session, which is uh, basically acupuncture at a distance. Uh, so have a great month um, ahead of you and happy Valentine to you. Uh, the general feelings that I am uh, picking up, they have a lot to do with a new love, a new beginning, uh, and a new direction uh, in life in uh, general. So all good things uh, headed your way. Let's break it down one by one. In the position representing you, you have the... Let me show you the card, the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a card that denotes new beginning, uh, new love, new journey in life, uh, new passion. It also uh, denotes working toward making uh, new beginnings. So generally it denotes all good things emotionally uh, happening to you. It's going to be a very important month for you when you're going to feel very accomplished. I do feel that some important negotiations and certain opportunities could be presented to you so you can shine your light, so you can show off your talent, your experience, and be rewarded uh, for your talent and your abilities. Now, for some of you, this could also be uh, a new uh, love uh, connection. You could be either... Um, you maybe already some of you started already to communicate with a person from, uh, that lives at a distance uh, from you but maybe this month you do decide to meet face to face and i do th believe another a reason for this card i do believe that a trip is involved or a journey some travels is involved in order for you to open the doors for you to meet uh, this new uh, person. So let's leave it at that. This is a general reading. So that's the general meaning of it. All good things emotionally are going uh, to happen for you in um, uh, February. In the position of what could be crossing you, you have the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords, it is a card that denotes a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. That can be the rising sign, the um, uh, the rising sign, the sun sign, or the moon sign. It does generally denote an authority figure, a lawyer, a therapist, an advisor. She's firm, uh, creative, a person that offers advice based on her experience. I do feel that you already know this person and you have already followed their guidance or their um, uh, advice. She could be a teacher or a mentor figure uh, in your life. And I do feel that right now you are going to have some major breakthroughs into something that you have been investing your time or your money or your uh, efforts. You are now seeing uh, some uh, success. I do feel that for some of you, you could find yourself also uh, being given more authority, being seen uh, more as a public figure. Some of you could also be granted some sort of a very important uh, role, maybe in the legal system, maybe teaching at a university, a leadership uh, role. So I do feel like it's going to be a very important role that is going to involve some very impo uh, important uh, public duties or government duties that will be granted uh, uh, to uh, you. So generally you have great support but imp by important authority figures in your life that are going to help you, to promote you, to get you to a higher uh, level of uh, life. In the position of what's, uh, what's above you, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles it is the ca a card that denotes a wish being uh, granted, it denotes help being offered, and also both sides of the generosity. So please do consider what is required of you, what can you give, but also what is being uh, offered. And to me personally, it also denotes having to deal uh, with uh, legal matters and finding balance and rewards through uh, legal matters or also having to deal with important financial institutions. I do feel that uh, this is money headed your way and I don't feel that you really have to work hard uh, for this uh, money because this is something that you either um, invested in the past like 
investing money into a project in uh, in a business deal and now you can see uh, the first profit or some profit from this business from this investment that you did in the past for some of you this could also be maybe you invested in your education and now you see something coming to fruition or maybe you uh, wrote a book or you, know, you created something with your talent and your ability. I don't know what that is. It can be different things for um, uh, different people. So whatever it is, now you can see that your efforts are paying you off uh, financially. This could also be a bonus being offered to you, or some of you could also be getting lucky into maybe winning some some small amount of money, maybe through a scratch ticket or a lottery. Because I don't feel I don't feel like it is a lot of money, but it is a small uh, uh, amount of uh, money. And this is not going to be true for all of you, but for uh, some of you. So a financial reward or some money wants to find you, some money that you don't have to work hard uh, for it. For some of you, it could also be actually being resolving some sort of an inheritance problem, and now you are legally able to access these funds, this um, uh, money granted to you through an uh, inheritance. In the position of what's the root cause for uh, for this, you have the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups denotes a mystical uh, woman. She appears to be uh, isolated. She appears to be very mysterious. She has a very creative uh, side uh, of her but also uh, be a little careful uh, with this queen of uh, caps because she could also be uh, manipulative and I do feel that the reason that this uh, queen of caps showed up for you is because there are going to be moments for you when you really need to spend even though you are going to feel uh, very social, you have a lot of events uh, to go to, a lot of good celebrations, you know, people are inviting you because you are officially uh, also representing uh, maybe your family or your institution that you work for or your company. So your social life is picking up. You are seen as this authority figure. You are granted the respect that comes with this Queen of Cups, with this authority figure. But I also do feel that from time to time you also... Uh, check back with your own emotions, uh, you have some creative ideas, something else that you are ready to move forward with and you are not sharing this uh, ideas just yet. For some of you it can be that you just started a relationship or just started to get to know someone but you are trying to keep that in the down uh, low because you are not ready um, to let others know um, anything more about your uh, personal and private uh, life. And I do feel that your intuition and your creativity is uh, increasing. You are getting more in tune with your own gut feeling. So you are going through this phase when you think that uh, your intuition has served you good because things are starting to manifest and you are learning new ways on how you can uh, learn more to rely on your own gut feeling, on your own intuition, but also uh, sometimes um, spending some time alone, it really helps you to be more creative and more uh, pro uh, productive. In the position of the recent past, you have the lovers and the lovers does denote partnership in love being connected and more in tune with each other's uh, needs but it also denotes uh, passion changes in love in friendships unions mergers choice travel and personal property so that was one of the reasons that i said earlier when i picked up on the general uh energies that for some of you you could be traveling uh for uh love to meet um uh, to meet this person that you are, are dating and entering a new love partnership or you could be traveling due to work and then meet this uh, uh person with whom you are going to feel a very strong connection with and if this doesn't make sense to you, maybe you already are partnered up. I do feel that the two of you could be taking like uh, a trip where that is really going to strengthen uh, the bond uh, between the two of you. You feel much more passionate uh, now in life in general. You could be finding yourself that maybe you have a new talent or maybe something that you didn't realize about yourself. And it is a loved one that is pointing out to you that you really can be really good at doing this and you really should cultivate this into something more than just being a hobby or uh, a passion. Uh, also, new groups of, groups of people or new people, new friends are entering your life that uh, are 
are going to prove to be very beneficial for you because they are going to expedite some sort of um, uh, direction, a new direction uh, in uh, your life. In the position of the near future, you have the magician. What a great card. It is a time of manifestation uh, for you. Time of new beginning, new opportunities being granted. Life will present you with everything that you need in terms of money, emotional support, chances meeting the right people at the right time. Everything that you need in order for you to support uh, your uh, dreams. It also denotes love urges finances and the future you are making plans for your future and you had some dreams that you um had for a long time and you do feel that february is an important turning point uh, for you where at least one of your wishes is going to be uh, manifesting for you you are going to be given a chance to really demonstrate your uh, experience your uh, capabilities your abilities and i really do feel very strongly I don't usually get this image, but uh, when I um, uh, got the magician for you, the image that my guide sent me really showed me a magician performing, doing tricks uh, on stage and really getting great reviews. So it could be maybe related to those of you that are watching this video that maybe you really are into tricks and performing or being an illusionist or a singer. I also keep getting like a, a, a movie uh, uh, that is being uh, seen that you directed or you were in the movie, anything that you do in terms of uh, uh, media, in other words. So I'm going to leave it at that. You are going to have at least one of your wishes uh, coming uh, true for you in uh, January. I I'm sorry, in February 2016, but I am recording this video in uh, January. So the next position of uh, your attitude, your internal feelings, you have the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords to me denotes success, but something left behind. Careful of a uh, theft or loss of an idea. Uh, it's going to you're going to run into some minor setbacks. Don't give up just yet and protect what is yours. So I mentioned earlier through a different card that uh, you're keeping some information or, or something that is near and dear to your heart. You're just keeping it for yourself. So it's not advisable for you to reveal all of your business idea, your future investment business ideas, your future plans for the future. Uh, you are going to run into some uh, minor setback, maybe due to something uh, malfunctioning. And I don't know what that is. It can be different things for different people. But generally, it is that your ideas uh, are going to prove to be very beneficial and they're very successful. So uh, follow your plan, follow your ideas. Uh, don't give up and especially don't listen to uh, no sayers. Surround yourself with people who have a positive uh, attitude. In the position of the environment and how people see you, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups uh, could be a uh, Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. That can be the Sun sign, the Rising sign, or the Moon sign. It does represent a person of surprising talent. It does represent a person who is very giving, or he's very giving for the sake of others. And sometimes it's lost in their dreams in their passion or in drugs. So I feel that the reason that this card showed up for you is because for some of you, I keep getting maybe he's a brother or like a brother for you. And for some of you, it could be a child. Uh, this child is suddenly revealing this big desire for you that maybe they want to pursue a career, maybe in music, in ballet. I don't know what that is, but they want to pursue a hobby and then you want to pursue a hobby with uh, a lot of persistence like not just being a hobby but they're seeing this as their uh, future and i do feel that after that initial uh you're going to get a little shocked because even though it is your child or your brother or someone very close to you you did not see this uh part of them uh before you didn't see that they really uh, could have a future if they cultivate now this uh, talent of theirs. And I do feel that you are going to be very supportive uh, toward uh, this. I also do feel that if not everybody has a child and not everybody has a brother. So this could also be people showing up to support you as you are for about to achieve your dreams, as you are for about uh, to achieve your goals. And uh, you could be also dealing very successfully 
in getting rid of some sort of a bad habit that wasn't really uh, serving your uh, right. So this time around, you are going to be very successful in getting rid of all bad habits or addictions or even uh, illusions that weren't based in uh, reality. And by doing so, you are going to be able to successfully move on with the rest of your life. In the position of Hope, spheres and wishes, you have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, to me, it is a card that denotes uh, completion, being in charge, being in command, uh, lightening your uh, burden. Um, so you completed one stage of your life, and it's now time for you to move on with a new project. I do feel that for some of you, you already invested your uh, money in a project or in an idea. And uh, you got your first batch, so to speak, or uh, the first gain out of it. And you are now ready to invest in a different opportunity, in a different uh, idea. This could actually be some of you are moving into a new place in life. Uh, you are adding more titles or more authority to uh, your name. You could be moving to a better place uh, of living to a new home that is going to be more uh, expensive and it indicates uh, your higher uh, status. Uh, this could also be some of you could also be completing a course of uh, study and maybe you are celebrating that there's going to be some sort of a party to celebrate your uh, accomplishment and I also do feel that some of you are winning maybe a competition maybe a sports uh, competition or you are getting ready to be trained uh, to enter some sort of a competitiveness when I do feel that you are going to be very uh, successful. So generally, you are completing one stage of your life and you are now ready to move on to a whole new era of uh, your uh, life. Maybe completing a job, a career, and maybe starting now with a new business or a new career in your life, or maybe recently you just changed careers and you are ready to, uh, in this new career, to get a boost and uh, to maybe go to a higher uh, level uh, of it. In the position of the outcome, you have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, it is a noble figure. It denotes future events. It denotes uh, an idea, uh, a trip, um, like a trip or future travels, a new career, demands, command. Uh, sometimes it doesn't know their teacher. It's a, a person or a figure that has a lot of charisma. People follow uh, him. He doesn't have many friends, but people do follow him. Nevertheless, and also the advice that is associated with the King of Wands is a focus on your goals, focus on working hard to achieve and to accomplish your goals. So some of you, I do feel that you are offered some sort of a teaching uh, position or a leadership position with... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, that uh, uh, you are being put on the spotlight, you are being given more responsibilities and now with these new responsibilities or with this new leadership role that you are being offered, that doesn't know that you really have to work uh, hard because your name is on the line. This is the message that I keep uh, getting, but nevertheless, don't be distracted by too many uh, social events or going out and forgetting to work really hard on your goals because this is the next... Uh, so the rest of the year is going to be very important for you to really focus to accomplish these uh, goals because you are entering a phase of uh, manifestation. The universe and the people and the environment around you are going to give you great success for you to support and to achieve your goals. I'm going to uh, move on to the second part of this reading, your Akashic Messages for Capricorn, February 2016 by Ama. Please subscribe to this channel because some of these messages may not make sense to you. There will be a lot of revelations this month. The truth or more information will be coming out in layers and layers. Focus on um, investigation, examining uh, the situation before you jump into conclusions or judge someone. Gain some clarity before you proceed. Your endocrine system will start to function better. Also, uh, anything related to your stomach, your kidneys, or the fluidity of juices in your body. A lot of you will be going for a swim this month. Remember to dream or to daydream about the possible best outcome in a situation of your life. See things in retrospective. 
could be that your mind needs uh, this could be exactly what your mind needs at this moment careful of or of not overspending in an item or on something that is not worth too much negotiate some financial transactions if you are in a couple a cruise or a boat a trip shows up for most coupled capricorns take full advantage of it enjoy this time together now because this chance is to spend quality time together and to do activities together that you both enjoy will be limited this year because one of you will be constantly busy with work if you are single get more rest a meditation or spending time alone could prove to be beneficial take time to recuperate your emotions from uh, your past because um, because before i'm sorry before you decide to pursue a new love or a new relationship sometimes strength comes from within from realizing your true strength and your inner courage so again let me remind you of my website amalightworker.com please do contact me if you need a private reading with me happy valentine to you and have a great month